Hi folks, just a quick video. It's good to be with you. I just want to talk quickly about DCCI Ministries. Congratulations on your year anniversary, guys. Uh, love you all. Uh, you're doing a great work and uh, praying for you. And congratulations and praise God that He's kept you as a team and, and God bless you. I just want to talk about Hatun and Mansur and the Dawa teams concerning Hatum and DCCI Ministries, just quickly. I uh, watched recently on Soku Films, uh, Mansur not dealing with Hatum's arguments. Hatum has shown me that she has 52,000 variants of the Quran. That's in the Arabic, and that's not all the Arabic Qurans that she studied. That's just a few. She's done immense scholarship, and what you're finding with the Dawa teams and Mansur is rather than actually take her seriously and, and discuss her scholarship in an in a adult, intelligent way, they've, they've been childish and bullying where they're just pushing her away, they're not really engaging with her. We see Mansur saying, shouting she shells, she shells, and being derogatory and trying to cause division like he'll, instead of talking to Hatoum, he'll talk to Daniel to try and cause division. But the reality is, is that the way Mansur and the Dawa teams have treated Hatoum is absolutely shameful. It's absolutely disgraceful. And Mansur and uh, Ali Dawa and Shamsi, you should be ashamed of yourself because she's done honest work, she's done studies, she's, she's done the research and you have to engage with it in an honest intellectual way. And what we're finding with the Dawa teams is they're just walking away. Hamza walks away from Bob the Builder and me. Uh, they're walking away from Godwin, Daniel, Lizzie, Hatoum. The fact of the matter is, this generation of Dawa teams, like Mansoor and all these guys, they've had it. They've had their day. There's been a Christian resurgence this year through DCI, DCCI through Bob the Builder and Soko and through Royal Blood Ministries and others there's been a Christian resurgence the Islamic Dawah teams have been pushed back they don't know how to deal with us they don't they cannot honestly deal with DCCI there's one or two Muslims like Abba uh, a guy called Abi or Abba who's really nice and tries his best but most of the Dawah teams they're just completely dishonest Hashim whatever they're just not willing to engage in an adult way and, and, and it's a disgrace and I pray that a younger generation of Muslims will come down to the park and will have the honesty to actually engage with Hatoum and the scholarship that she's bringing because to be honest the, the, the older Dawah teams they're an absolute disgrace they're a disgrace to Islam and you young Muslims you need to you, you know that we've got the upper hand you know that DCCI have exposed Islam you know that Bob the Builders exposed Islam. You know that we Royal Blood have exposed Islam. You know that you, 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 you can't cut it anymore. And you've been exposed and there's been a Christian resurgence. And you can't handle it. And I just want to say to the Dawah teams that you need to sit down and deal with Hatum scholarship. And if you can't do with, deal with it, it's game over. Just go home and let a younger generation come. And I, and I think a younger generation of Muslims are going to start coming down more educated, more willing to engage in proper academic discussion than these, what can only, you, Mansour, what can, I can only describe you as a clown the way you de dealt with Hatoum recently on Soku Films. You, you were a clown. You were not an academic. You were not dealing with it in a, dis, in a honest intellectual way. And Shamsi, you, you were a clown the way you dealt with them, just walked away. And you, Ali Dawa, a clown, not willing to honestly deal with the question. She's done 52,000 variants of the Quran. She's done solid research. And she deserves respect. And she deserves to be respect, respected and to be engaged with. And they're just trying to marginalize her and push her to the side because they can't deal with what she's got to say. And it's a disgrace to the Dawah teams at Hyde Park. And I hope a new generation of young Muslims will come and deal with Hatoum in a fair, honest, intellectual way. And I know there's one or two Muslims that are not famous apologists down there, like Abba, who I think will try to do that, and I hope he does. Because the rest of you Muslim apologists, you, you've let Islam down. And to be honest, the Christian resurgence has come, 
and you're on the back foot you're really on the back foot now and uh, unless you start to bring proper discussion and debate you, you've got no credibility she's got credibility she's done the scholarship she's done the work and she deserves the respect to be engaged with in a proper intellectual way and the way you're dealing with her is a disgrace and you're just bullying her just sit down and talk with her and engage in adult fashion with a scholarship. God bless you.